Well, could Florida be the next state facing a recount? If three people who filed a lawsuit get their way, it could happen. They claim there was faulty voting equipment and fraud, and now they want the state to take another look. Candace McCowan joins us live in our Tampa News Center. And so the big question, Candace, how likely is it that we will see a recount? Jean, good evening. I talked to one expert today who said it's highly unlikely. And even if there was a recount, the outcome won't change for many reasons. In Florida, it's like trying to find a needle in a haystack. USF professor Ed Benton was a betting man. He wouldn't put his money on a recount here in Florida, changing the election results, mostly because Trump won by 112,000 votes. And he's certain a recount wouldn't find even a fraction of irregularities to make a difference. But three people in Central Florida want to find out for sure. They filed a lawsuit asking the state for a recount, saying if votes were counted properly, Hillary Clinton would have won Florida. Florida's 29 electoral votes, but Dr. Ed Benton believes the trio will hit roadblocks. They filed in Leon County Circuit Court, a state court, rather than federal court. Uh, federal courts would be much more sympathetic in leaning toward granting a request. If granted, Florida would join other states where recounts are underway. Other recounts are spearheaded by Green Party candidate Jill Stein. But Dr. Bitten tells me there is a reason Stein isn't leading a recount here in Florida. Stein picked those states where the margin of victory was small. So where they do uncover some uh, irregularities, it could make a difference. But what I'm thinking is that they may have, and Jill Stein's people said it's not worth it, 112,000 vote margin. Even if you find a few things, it's not worth the effort. And the process isn't cheap, paying for attorneys. And then in Pennsylvania state court, there were, they required a $1 million bond, an effort that Jill Stein will now take up in federal court. And they will have to hope that the court takes a look at it before December 19th when the Electoral College actually votes. Jen?